Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out for a walk on Greenham Common in Berkshire today. We're going to a new miniature railway or a newly opened miniature railway, which is um, in the village of Greenham, not far from Newbury. But first I thought I'd come for a walk on this very vast common, which used to be RAF Greenham Airfield. And here is the old control tower. So before we go to the miniature railway, I thought we'd go and have a look at this, because it seems, you know, seeing as it's next door, why not? And then I'm going to walk across the very vast common along the old runway to find this miniature railway. So it's a cafe on the ground floor and there's a bit of a museum on the upper floors. So let's go and have a look. So here we are, look, welcome to Greenham Common, USA Air Force Station. So it was an American base as well as being an RAF base. So as we go in here, they come into here on the ground floor there, they have the cafe. So, um, probably go and get coffee in there, but if we go up here, this is where it gets exciting. We've got all these stairs up to see the control tower. So, this is quite exciting. I do love these big old buildings, you know, these metal trees. There's just something about them big, thick walls, you know. So, as we come up here, there we are, there's some model aeroplanes. Now, I like aeroplanes, I don't know too much about them, but I think some, some of these, yeah, they're definitely American, which is United States Air Force on it. That's pretty cool, that one down there. So yeah, I like aeroplanes, don't know a lot about them, more of a railway person. Here's uh, some various um, artefacts. Now, uh, Greenham is fairly well known for the protests that used to take place here um, in the 1980s. The women of Greenham, basically they encircled the whole, well I'll get a better view when we get up there, I understand they formed a 14 mile chain. So as I said though we're in this building, we're currently in these rooms here, we're going to go up to the actual control tower itself because that's where we should get some interesting views. I'll be able to show you more of the old airfield from a height and I can show you where we're heading for. So as we come up here and up into the control tower itself. So we get a pretty good view of the ground here. Look at that, how vast it is. We're going to head off down that path, because the railway we're going to is about there-ish. We're only about halfway up the runway. It just stretches. It's a good, at least two miles long. It's pretty big. It's uh, very impressive. On over there is one of the old hangars. So this is the view from up in the control tower. What I'm going to do now, we'll go downstairs and we'll start walking towards the miniature railway. So, um, admittedly, I don't know too much information on the airfield itself, but you know, you hear the, about the Greenham protests and that I had heard of them. I'm more kind of um, quite struck just how vast this airfield is. It would I'm not saying it should happen, but it would be a good place for another London airport. That's the kind of size it is. It's probably nearly as big as Heathrow Airport. It's a very, very vast place. Or um, if you look at it on a map from above, and you look at Newbury Racecourse, which is nearby, if you look at um, Newbury Racecourse on a map, and look at this on a map, you think Newbury Racecourse is probably pretty big. It looks tiny compared to this. It is just incredibly vast. Um, I'd like to actually, I could probably spend a day here just walking around the common. It's, it's all its all a common now. There'll be cattle grazing on it. I could see some when I was up at the control tower. We might see some as we walk. How do I get out here? A bit. There we go. So, we're going to leave the control tower behind. So we were up there in that glass room a moment ago. Cherry tree there. I'm going to walk out across the common um, towards the Smith Railway and you might just be able to see just how vast this place is. Oh look, there's some of the cattle which are grazing. So it, it's incredibly vast, this common. It's really huge. I don't think it's going to be very hard to convey just how big it is. These cows, they have a very, very big area which they can graze. So when we come out to here, now we're heading 
well with the control tower behind us there we're heading out onto the old runway I was expecting there to be a really strong wind out here so I'm very happy it's not too windy but look at it it's just so so vast um, I just just yeah hard to you know take it in how big it is so control tower there heading this way out towards this miniature railway it's it's incredibly vast perhaps as I was saying comparing it looking on the map it probably stretches from one end to the other would be like if you think heading that way of course you've got the railway the Barks and Hanch railway you've got the A4 you know the Bath Road if you were to um, compare it to the railway probably from that end of the old um, airfield to that end. It's probably about the same distance from Newbury Racecourse Station to Fasham Station, maybe even longer. I drove past Fasham Station on the way here. I, I didn't come by train, I did think about coming by train. Could have come from Newbury and I could have walked up to here, but because I wanted to come here first, I, I drove. Now, you may, it's very hard to pick out, but just over there is um, the bunkers where they actually used to keep nuclear missiles. So that's another, I don't know quite all the ins and outs, but another reason why there are various nuclear protests here. Nuclear missiles were kept here. There was a plane that crashed here, um, which supposedly was carrying a nuclear bomb. And although the bomb didn't go off, it burned through. So there were, they reckon there possibly was some radiation leaks. And um, sadly, there was some cases, it became a bit of a leukemia hotspot, but um, they've done various tests and it's never really been quite proven that there was a link there but thankfully all that's in the past now it is just a very vast place you can come and walk it's run by the Berkshire and Buckinghamshire Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust so yeah do, do come here and do have a, a look but I'm going to continue my walk that way to Greenham Church and that's where we're going to find this miniature railway so after walking across the very vast Greenham Common former RAF airfield there's a water tower there, that was part of the complex. I'm now in the housing estate in Greenham, which is where the miniature railway we're going to is. It's called the Greenham Paddock Miniature Railway. It's the first time they've held a public open day running over their full length. So I'm led to believe there's effectively two lines. There's like a branch line and a main line. So I'm very interested to see that. Haven't been to this railway before, so it's always exciting when you go to a miniature railway for the first time so it sort of appears I'm back in the countryside but this is just a bit of uh, woodland in the middle of a housing estate um, in Greenham so Greenham effectively is a suburb of Newbury but possibly it's a village also in its own right um, so we're, we're not too far from Newbury now so as we come to here here across the road so see what I mean we are in a housing estate um, and then we go up this gravel drive here towards St Mary's Church. So this is the drive to the church. You can just see the church in front of us. And I'm led to believe this railway, the Greenham Paddock Miniature Railway, is, uh, yeah, I can just see some tracks. So where that ice cream van park, we'll go, let's just go through behind these cars so we should get our first look at the Miniature Railway. There we are, there it is. And there's a train coming. So let's watch the train go past and we'll go and have a ride. So as the train goes past, it looks as though the passengers are enjoying their ride. I'm going to go and enjoy my ride. So this is the main track, which, so this is its first open day today, this, this bit of track. But there is um, a branch line as well. So what we'll do, I'll show you that. The branch line's quite short, probably um, on par with Ashford Miniature Railway, possibly for claiming to be one of the shortest railways in the country. If I put my head through the fence here, you can see. That's the end of the branch line, with the main line down there. And the little branch line train is literally just up there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna to go to the station and we're gonna ride both miniature railways here at Greenham Paddock.
I had a great time riding the railways here at Green and Paddock Miniature Railway, both the main line and the little branch line just here. What we're going to do now though is we're going to go and have a look in the church because that is um, the fate that's taking place. It's the church's fun day, so the railway is there, the church is just down this little hill. So we'll go and have a look in the church and then my plan is to walk down to Newbury and um, end the video down in Newbury Town Centre because I've passed through Newbury on a train numerous times but I've never actually had a look around the town centre and I've been told it's a rather pleasant town so as we come down here there's the church hall where there's refreshments, I might have to go and have a cup of tea afterwards and then this is the church in front of us now I don't know too much but I do know a few little facts about this church one is that the um, parish at the time this church was built grew quite quickly so what they did the old church would have been in the middle so they built the new church around the old church and they demolished the old church from inside so it's a rather beautiful church what's quite interesting about this church is in the windows and the paintings around the bible is told and i've been 
understand it's only one of about two churches that do this, the other being Norwich Cathedral, because quite a lot of the parish were illiterate at the time. So the idea is if um, the Bible's told in pictures, then they can, um, you know, understand the Bible. So let's just go up here and have a look. This is really beautiful, this, the chapter and everything. Nice to hear the organ playing too. side of the church and then as I said we're going to go down to Newbury and um, yeah. see the town centre, see the River Kennet and the canal etc. So if we leave behind the beautiful interior of this church, let you have one last look down the nave and then we'll go outside. So as we go back out here it's time to leave the miniature railway which I've had a great time riding um, so, you know, if you're out this way, do come and visit the Miniature Railway. Let's just have a look at the outside of the church. I'm going to go down there soon and go the nice path to Newbury. Newbury Racecourse is only just there, the other side of those oak trees down there. That's where Newbury Racecourse is. So, there you go, there's the exterior of the church. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go out through this lich gate over here and follow the path down to. Newbury Town Centre. So Greenham, it's basically a suburb of Newbury, it's a village just on the edge of Newbury. Um, I did think about coming here by train and walking up here, it certainly would be possible, um, especially for people like me who like walking, but today I chose to not to. So I'm going to walk off down here towards Newbury. I've just come down the hill from Greenham, I'm now walking through the Newbury Racecourse complex. There's the stables there, so that's where the stables, or where the horses are stabled, and they will come out of here through these gates and off down there, and you can just see the main stand in the distance of Newbury Racecourse. Now, never been to sea racing, but I have been to the Newbury Racecourse station quite a few times because if I've been on a charter train, they sometimes stop there to take on water because it's a convenient place, a way you can basically be put in a loop off the main line. Nursery, that's a good name for a nursery. Um, yes, yeah, so they can put a train off the main line out of the way. No horses, but there's a cat. So, I um, don't think they race cats. So, the, the rail lines here, the main line, Barks and Hans, as it's known, which runs from Reading down to Taunton. It's funny it's called the Barks and Hans because it doesn't go through Hampshire at all. Pretty about the nearest it gets is probably just up the line at Fatcham. It's probably a couple of miles away from Fatcham Station. So, it's funny it's called the Barks and Hans. It should really be called the Barks, Wilts, and Somerset. But anyway, so the station's down there. There's the race course. We're going to go through here. These gates are only here to stop you driving through. You can walk through it's a public footpath. There's a green gauge tree here. I wonder if they're ripe. Ah, it's a green gauge. Let's see if it's ripe. No, it's a bit sour. I won't need the rest of that. Anyway, so we are crossing the main line now. You might just be able to see the station. Not a lot happening, I've checked, there's no freights or anything due. Very close distance between the two stations because Newbury station is just up there. I'm going to continue my walk now and have a look around Newbury. This was slightly unplanned but I looked on real time trains and saw there was a train to Newbury in 10 minutes. So what I thought I'd do, for just a bit of fun, to come here to the station and get on the train. It's only about a quarter of a mile. We were on that bridge just there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the middle platform and take the train. Look, it says trains to Newbury and Racecourse. That is an old first Great Western sign. The sign we just saw is a Great Western one. So it's funny there's still a few signs in the old colours. Seems this station, um, it's not great if um, you're in a wheelchair um, because you can't even get onto that platform. There's steps, no lifts, so yeah, um, no lifts, which isn't great. Anyway, another Great Western sign. I suppose it wouldn't be convenient if you were in a wheelchair, you'd have to go to Newbury. If you're going to visit the Greenham Paddock Minutes Railway, like we did today, 
another sign for us, Great Western. Um, if you're going to visit the Greenham Paddock Mitch Railway, like we did today, if you're coming by train, this station's nearer. So you could come from here, and what I'd suggest you do is go over the bridge, over that side, that's the platform where steam trains stop for water, go out there and up that way, and then the railway's basically at the top of the hill. So that's what I would suggest if um, you do come to visit the Greenham Paddock Minutes Railway by train. I've now got four minutes to wait for my train to Dewbury. It will come from that way, from Reading. So I'm just going to wait for the train to arrive now. We've just arrived at Newbury now. It's quite funny, we've come on a C2C train now. C2C serve the London, Tilbury and South End line out of London Fenter Street. So it does seem a bit funny to be getting on one here. But, oh, the doors are closing. Uh, let's get them open. There we go. Because of the problems with um, the Hitachi built trains, some of them and some Gatwick Expresses have been drafted in. So C2C, which um, they say you can mean whatever you want it to mean. Commitment to customers, coast to city, city to coast. Um, yeah, it seems funny to see C2C here at Newbury. They are supplementing the Great Western class 387. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, we're going to see a class, um, it's one of the Hitachi Evron 800 and 802 speed through, and we're going to go and look around the town. That was 800, 319 on the way to Plymouth. Now, let's get out the station and have a look around Newbury. So here we are in Newbury Town Centre. This is the marketplace. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to show you the Kennet and Avon Canal. I assume this is probably the town hall. So we'll finish down by the Kennet and Avon Canal. So I've had quite, um, quite a good day. I've been to the Green and Common, the Green and Paddock Miniature Railway. Had a ride on a C2C train quite away from C2C territory, but that's always quite fun when things like that happen. And now we're down here in Newbury Town Centre. I've never been to this town before except um, passing through on a train, so I'm quite happy to be exploring this town because and it is really is quite, a, quite an attractive town. The uh, parish church is just there, it's not open because I did try and have a look before recording this clip, but the sun's right in the way but anyway parish church is there i think you can see the silhouette of that there's a rather exciting bit just up here though where we can see the kennet and avon canal and that's where i intend to finish so in this video although we've actually seen the aeroplanes we started with aircraft we've had railways little and large so let's finish with some waterways so as we get to here you can see there's a bridge here and this is called bridge street for fairly obvious reasons the main street through the middle of Newbury Town Centre. This is Bridge Street. And this is a bridge over the River Kennet, stroke the Kennet and Avon Canal. So if you look down there, you can see some swans swimming under the bridge. And that way, as I said, Newbury Town Centre. And if you look on this side, you can see there's a lock just there. So let's go to that lock. It um, looks quite interesting the way. So if you were walking the Kennet and Avon Canal, you cannot walk under this bridge. You'd come out there by Costa and you would um, come across here. See as those cyclists are doing in the opposite direction. They're probably cycling the Kent Avenue now. You go down this alleyway. It looks as though it only goes to this pub, but there's a bit of a little surprise here. You've got the entrance to the pub, this not particularly exciting looking back of the building. Go down these steps and we're going under the building for a tunnel. So uh, we come to the end of the tunnel and there's the bridge we were on a moment ago. So see what I mean? You, you can't walk that way. There's a lot of swans. So we're going to go now over the bridge this way. Uh, sorry, I am looking very silhouetted. We're going to go over this bridge to the lock and that's where 
we will conclude our visit to Newbury. There's another course of the River Kennet going off that way and um, there seems to be another course going off that way and there's the parish church which we couldn't see particularly well um, earlier because of the summer there is a better view of the tower at least and then coming up to here here is a lock let's go across the lock for fun so one day and i'll say this quite a lot one day we'll do this one day we'll do that one day i'd like to walk the Kennet and Avon Canal because I think it's a fascinating waterway. Sorry again, I'm looking silhouetted. Um, I think it's a fascinating waterway and um, I like places that go places. And of course you'd see quite a lot of trains if you walked it because the Barks and Hampton Railway Line, which we had a very, very, very short trip on between the two Newbury stations, further up runs parallel to the Kennet and Avon Canal. So I'm going to leave you here with this image of Newbury Lock on the Kennet and Avon Canal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And you know, if you're out this way in Newbury, do, do come on the train to Newbury. It's a lovely town. And if you live in Newbury, why not go for a walk up the hill to Greenham Common and see the miniature railway, the Greenham Paddock Miniature Railway. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.